Good morning and welcome back to Florida Day 14. whispering because I am nap trapped which I didn't think I'd be saying when Oscar has just turned nine but I am so the plan this morning was to wake up for early magic hours early entry head to the parks do both Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure because Oscar is desperate to get back on Velocicoaster so Pete and I set an alarm and we've been up since very early. Oscar didn't wake up. And we thought, well, you know, he's been running around with us for two weeks and he's so little, so let's just leave him. We left him, we left him, we left him. It's now after 10 and he's still asleep. So Pete's gone to the park. I've stayed here. Obviously I'll sort him out when he wakes up, but. I'm not in a rush to wake him because he clearly needs it. So let's just let him do his thing. In the meantime, I've been catching up with some work and bits and bobs. I've also got the most awful deja vu because I've woken up so bummed up, can't smell anything, can't taste anything. And obviously then, you know, your mind goes. So I have done a COVID test this morning, negative. I think this is what happened last time we stayed here. I think it's the aircon, it's like just affects my sinuses. So I feel all bunged up, like really runny nose. Um, and yeah, can't smell anything, which isn't good. I did have my voodoo donut this morning. I couldn't really taste it either. So that's not great, is it? I feel absolutely fine, but just sinusy. So hopefully that buggers off because I want to be able to taste the Florida food. Um, so yeah, so I'm like ready to go. I'm still in my pajamas. I've not got dressed yet. Um, I get dressed as we're leaving, but I don't know when that will be. So I don't know what Pete's up to. Um, it's Sunday today, so I think looking at the queue times, everything seems really busy. Um, so we'll see. We'll just see what Oscar wants to do when he's awake. But yeah, don't really know what we're going to do then for the rest of the day because I think it just depends on what we get up to. Um, but I think as I mentioned yesterday, Pete's got Halloween Horror Nights this evening. So Oscar and I were on our own anyway doing like dinner plans and stuff. So we'll see. We'll just take it as it comes today. So I'll update you in a bit when Sleepy Beauty's awake. I am going into the park on my own today. Uh, I've been up since like quarter to seven this morning and he's soon after. Oscar literally woke up about half an hour ago at nine o'clock. So he's not even ready for the day. He's, he's saying he wants to go back to sleep. So Annie's going to stay back with him and just see how he gets on. I don't think he's unwell. He's just, he's just tired. I think the holiday's just taking its toll on him. So I'm going to head in, try and get return time with Annie's... Uh, access pass for Hagrid's because it's currently like two and a half hours so hopefully when they do come into the park we can ride that and I'm going to try and get on a few things on my own uh Hulk which I didn't get to do last time currently only has a 20 minute wait not my queuing for that let's see what else there is when we get there hopefully it won't be too boring with just me sorry true universal style bus was waiting as I got to the bus stop uh as I got off the bus though I joined a crowd of 160 uh, band students that just arrived. Uh, my first stop of the morning is going to be to get a Coke Freestyle mug, which is the first time we've done this. But we were kind of calculated yesterday. We were saying that if we have like three drinks a day, then we should break even on this. Or, you know, it'll pay for itself. So let's, uh, let's grab one of these. So with my universal discount, it was 17.24, and I got my first drink, and it's a Halloween Horror Nights themed mug, which is pretty cool, because I'm going to be there tonight. There you go, there it is. I got my first drink, it's a Cherry Icy. Mmm. So Icy is 
it's kind of a slushy but not quite a slushy it's not quite as icy which given the name you think it would be but yeah it's, it's a lot i think the only way to describe it is the sort of ice crystals in it are smaller so it's a smoother drink and you can use like a regular sized straw to drink it well, yeah let's head on into the park i'm ready First, I need to try and get a return time for Hagrid's, which I've just checked on the way in, and it's now a three hour wait. Uh, it's so bad. It's so, so, the plan today was to come for the early hours, obviously, because Oscar didn't wake up. We was like, well, he clearly needs to sleep, so we just left him. But that's obviously had an impact on, on the ride by not getting into the park that little bit early. But, I sure will be fine. Um, but yeah, obviously, because Hagrid's has got a ridiculously long queue at three hours, it means most of the other rides have got reasonable queues. So I'm hoping once I've tapped in for this, or got return time for this, I should be able to get some things that are my own, particularly Hulk, which I'm still yet to ride. Because last time we came, I gave up my Hulk return time so we could ride one of these Dr. Zeus rides. Oh yeah, that one. I don't know what it's called, but the little train ride that goes around Dr. Uh, Zeus Landing. I gave up my hope for that. It's a commitment. So yeah, I'm going to write that wrong today. I'm going to go on Hulk. Hopefully, I'll check the time in a minute. Hopefully, it's still only 20 minutes. So the line for Hagrid seems to start at Hogsmeade Station. It's just about standard, to be honest. Whenever we've been here in the past, this seems to be the start of the queue when we come in in the morning. Me for the first time, oh, well, here I am, should I say, on my own. Really, no mates. Hogwarts Express. Coming! 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 I mean, it's a, it's a great ride, it really is. I would rather queue for Coast though, if I'm honest. Good news. Uh, so the lady said to me, you can check her in for a return time. Um, obviously, I can't ride unless she's with us, which is exactly what I was expecting to happen. So we do have a return time. It is in three hours. So it's ten, five past ten now. Our return time is five to one. So, you know, around lunch time. It is what it is. That's the whole point of it, isn't it? So, yeah, so I'm going to head on over to Hulk now, or that kind of Marvel area of the park, and see what I can get on. So I think last time we didn't even ride Spider-Man, or if we have affectionately now call it, since uh, Web Slinger in Paris, Speederman. So yeah, let's, uh, let's see what it's like. Like even Stormbreaker, I mean that never has a queue anyway, but that's like a walk on at the moment. I just don't know how much fun that's going to be on my own. But uh, Oscar loves it obviously, especially when Annie's on board, because she does not cope well with teacup style rides so I just double checked Hulk it is still showing 20 minutes great also I was walking past the freestyle machine on the way into Zeus Landing uh, just went to the freestyle machine see about getting another beverage and they actually have Horror Night themed drinks so I've gone for the Zombie Fizz which is a purple what looks like a purple Fanta so I'm assuming it's gonna be some kind of like grape Yeah, definitely great. There's something else in there as well though. Oh yeah, hint of grape. Maybe like, I was trying to see the colours when it was coming out. And it didn't look like orange Fanta was coming out. But it's definitely not just grape Fanta, there's something else in there as well. Can't put my finger on it. But there are two other Halloween drinks to try, so I might as well give them a go later too. Some absolute bangers in Marvel. So, 
having the zombie fizz right before going on Hulk. <clears throat> Not my finest idea. It was uh, it was really good ride. I actually think Oscar's going to really enjoy that, especially if he's told us to go on it, because it is very much like Rock and Roller Coaster, just with some extra sort of inversions on it. So I think he's going to love that. But yeah, having that zombie fish just before going on it, like my stomach now is like, Whoa. so I'm going to take it easy and head into Spider-Man next. So Spider-Man done. What an amazing ride that was. It's the same kind of setup as Transformers, like three rows of four in a kind of little pod. Like, obviously it just takes you around. But the 3D in there, absolutely great. Like, cause I don't even know how old the ride is, but the 3D in there is fantastic. And, uh, and the 4D effects in there. Usually you get a little spray when things wet you. The first one on that, literally like big drops of water just smash you right in the face. And then straight after that, just a fireball, just to like basically dry you off almost immediately. But Oscar will absolutely love that. I don't think it's going to bother Annie so much with her motion sickness. It's very much, uh, well, like Transformers, but with a bit of Men in Black aspect because there's a lot of spinning around in there as well. At one point, because obviously I'm sat on my own, sat next to a couple on the back row. And at one point I just went flying into this, like, this guy sat next to me. I was, like, I was so sorry. Like my legs literally went up in the air as well. It was so funny. So I'm going to head over now to Jurassic Park area because two times it's starting to get a bit busy but the river ride only has a 15 minute wait so I'm gonna go get myself wet on that ride and then probably dry off in next to no time because it is scorchier today I'll see you later oh, I don't want to queue up 40 minutes with Kong but I'm not late when Annie and Oscar are inside set up I've just seen on Instagram that Oscar is still asleep but it's now 11 o'clock but it's very unlike him. So I'm guessing the last sort of two weeks have finally taken a toll on him and he's just trying to catch up on some sleep. He's uh, not unwell. He checked his temperature and everything and seems absolutely fine. He just wants to sleep. So sleep he will. I gotta get a picture of this T Rex over here because no one seems to be doing it. So I'll take it home to the quiet. spray from the viewing area then nothing too bad so i need to go check my bag in stick it in a locker which with my backpack is not easy i have to literally empty everything out of it completely squish my bag and then force it into the locker so don't leave anything valuable in there if you're doing that because i put my hat in before when we went to hulk and then when i came out my beak was completely bent in half so not a good look this ain't the 90s anymore Alright, let's go see how wet I can get on this ride. I did get wet. Not too wet. I think you might be able to see. Patch here. I'm asleep. I got spat on by a dinosaur. That's mostly why I got wet on this side. I got wet. I'm not sure it's got a bit wet. Mostly to the face, but obviously I was sat on the front row. But uh, considering it was the fun ride, I don't think I got as wet as I was expecting. Mostly just a blast to the face. The difference between that and Splash Mountain is Splash Mountain, if you really wanted to, you could dump down. Like there's room for you to get your head down. Not on that, you are penned in. Even to the point when I was getting out of the ride, it was like maybe about six inches of space between the lap bar that comes down and getting out. So uh, I had to drag my bag out and sort of try and hobble off the ride. Not fun, but uh, the ride was fun. Really fun. You forget how big that drop is. It's much bigger than Splash Mountain. Great splash as well. Really good. Now they're doing a raptor encounter. I'm going to find out if it's the baby or the or blue. Just the baby raptor. So I'll give that a miss. So that's a fun on your own, but I think blue's always a fun one. More fun when Oscar's here. But yeah, I'm going to head over. I know, like Harry, Harry Potter way. Maybe get another drink. See what the queue is like for Velocicoaster maybe. If it's less than an hour, I might, I might just have to do that. Time's in there. 
that's funny. Yeah, I've only had a voodoo donut for breakfast. I had my second maple bar. Well, that was at like 8 a.m. So I am starting to get a little bit hungry now. Might have to stop. Although I've already, I've looked at the menu for tonight's Halloween Horror Night, so I kind of already know what I want to eat. So, because there's so much food, I don't really want to go crazy, because if it was me and Annie, we'd split the food. So we'd have, obviously, we'd have double the amount of food to try. Because I'm on my own, it's like I don't want to go crazy and spend loads of money on food when I just to try it basically. So there's the good guy burger that I want to try, which is in Simpsons Land, and then there's a, a corn dog that I want to try, which is a maggot covered corn dog, where it's uh, Rice Krispies basically, and then there's a candy corn ice cream bar, which looks enormous. It looks like the size of your hand, and it's like seven dollars. So. So burger, hot dog, well, corn dog, and an ice cream bar. Uh, drinks I'm not too fussed about, I've got my three star cup, so I'll make use of that. Really? But yeah, so I don't really want to eat burgers and hot dogs today if that's what I'm going to be eating tonight. So maybe we need to try and find some chicken. Velocity Coast has a 50 minute wait time. I, th I think I can do that. Last night they didn't have the um, express lane open at all and they didn't have the single rider lane open and the guy at the front basically said it's because of the staffing they don't have enough staff to have all three lanes open hopefully single rider will be open today so obviously i am single riding today so that'll be good so let's go see so 50 minutes let's see how long it takes absolutely love that they play the Jurassic Park music i mean they're not going to play anything else but i love walking in here and listening to it See if we can get the poster coming down. Oh, sounds like we got it. Sun, I can't see the screen anymore. Come on, coaster, where are you? It looks like single riders are closed. Damn. So, yeah, we have to join the queue like everybody else. 50 minute wait. I've not seen a coaster since I got here. That's not a good sign. So the queue last night when we came was 75 minutes and it went all the way back to the little Jurassic Park sort of logo gate. And it went all the way back to there last night. But judging by this, the end of the queue is pretty much here. So I think we have to walk all that way, but the queue is nowhere near as long as it was last night when it was saying 75 minutes. So hopefully, time check. 11.25. See if we get off this ride by 12, maybe. But most of the queue is outside, so it'll drive me off after that splash on river adventure. So it's not a bad thing. So the queue last night went all the way down there, like all the way down there. So I, this ain't gonna be, hopefully this ain't gonna be like last night's queue. The actual rail, like for the queue, is so close to the actual track. Like this is the closest bit. I'll show you in a second when I get around there, I just don't want to get me with there. Probably less than 10 feet that is closest point from the rail to the ride and it's like people's heads up as well. Here is the closest point. I'd like to say that's pretty damn close to the rail. Really close. I actually forgot to mention as well the lockers for River Adventure are chargeable, but you don't need to use them, you can take your stuff on the ride with you. Um, I put my bag sat on my feet, got a little wet, but not so, so everything was fine. So yeah, remember that. Hello! I've finally woken up after You've my finally deep woken slumber. up after your deep slumber. And what time even is it now? Um, 11.36. Wow, you really are a sleeping beauty, aren't you? Yes. So we are gonna go meet Pete in the parks. We don't know where he is. I'll just text him when we're on the bus and find out 
What do you want to ride today? Velocicoaster. Velocicoaster. Do you want to do Hagrid's as well? Yep, and I've forbidden journey for the passage. I don't know what it's called. Well, we are looking the part today. Should we do outfit of the day? Yep. Outfit of the half day. <laughs> Okay, we are very Harry Potter themed today, aren't we? Yep. So we got twinning Expecto Patronum t-shirts on. It looks like it says on. Egyptian language. Yeah, it does, because it's backwards in the mirror. Yep. I have my Miss Mosh design Hogwarts skirt, which I absolutely love. I have got a Making Magic and Company bow band on, which has got little golden snitches. And Oscar's got his little Gryffindor robes on. Which, for some reason, the shop, they like £130. Yeah, we certainly did not pay that. He's even got Gryffindor socks on. We ready? Yep. Shall we go? Uh-huh. Okay, see you at the parks. Bye. We made it. We are heading into Islands of Adventure. I think Pete was just in line for Velocicoaster. So we're going to head over there and then see what we can do. I can't believe we're getting to the parks at nearly lunchtime. I think I'm ready for lunch. He won't be. He's just had his breakfast. Ahoy, is that a cannon? It is. Ahoy. <laughs> we are heading to Hogsmeade to go and meet Pete. Hopefully ride some of the Harry Potter rides whilst we're there, yeah? Yep. Seeing as we are dressed apart, of course. I hope you can get so on one fish to fish red fish fish again. Not gonna happen, kid. Yeah. Woo! So, 35 minutes from joining the queue to getting off the ride. So 15 minutes quicker than, well, 20 minutes quicker than, than what the ride time was. So happy with that. Annie and Oscar are on their way into the park now. They should have probably just entered now. So I've got to go meet them in Hogsmeade. But, oh man, what a ride. I absolutely love it. It's, uh, everyone always says like, oh, you should ride it at night time. Which obviously we did last night. I don't know. I, I think I enjoy it more in the day. Because obviously you can see the track come in and you can see obviously all the raptors on the track and stuff like that. I just think it makes it even better. But yeah, the guy sat next to me, never been on it before. And he was like, at the end, he was like, oh my God. But he loved it. So I'm going to go grab a drink and then wait for Annie and Oscar to come and meet me. And then I'm going to hand the vlog back over to Annie. I need to save my battery life on this equipment for tonight because I'm going to be doing Halloween Horror Nights on my own. I've already planning to get in queue like an hour before it opens because I've been looking, I was doing a bit of research last night. And Ben and Rachel from Two Infinity and Beyond, they did it the other week and they advised basically that the Halloween uh, house gets like ridiculously busy, like two hour queues all night long, which I was checking the app last night and I can confirm it was pretty much two hour queues all night long until I went to sleep anyway. So I think I'm going to try and head to that first and then head to Simpsons That's area because the two houses over there, apparently the, uh, the Legends one is very good. Uh, but those queue times stayed pretty quiet all night, so I'm going to try and get a few of the houses done, go through a few of the scare zones. But yeah, that'll be another vlog. Look who we found! Did you find me or did I find you? You found us, I think. We found each other, reunited again. It is lunchtime, we're heading in for Green Eggs and Ham, finally! From Green Eggs and Ham, we went for the buffalo chicken tater tots and the pizza tots. And together those were 22.88. Pete was also able to get a refill on our refillable mug and that was uh, free of charge. They smell so good. Well, Pete tells me, I can't really smell much. Hopefully I can taste them. Okay, Pete's starting with the buffalo. I'm gonna go for the pizza tarts. Oh wow, good cheese pull on that. It's got pepperoni and I think sausage. Ha! Huh. It does taste just like a pizza. That's really funny. The sausage is good actually. I'm gonna try the pepperoni. Oh, I like that a lot. Definitely worth the wait. For sure, they are very good. 
Okay, I'm now gonna try the buffalo chicken. That's nice, but I'm not really getting much buffalo. It is good, I think the pizza ones are better. I was also quite tempted to try the corned beef ones. They sounded really good, as well as the carnitos ones, which were like a pork with jalapeno and a lime dressing. So I think they sounded like there was quite a few good options. The corned beef ones, I think the guy was sat down on the table and had it kit, but it comes in a can. Yeah, some of them come in a can rather than in a just in a plate. But yeah, no, it's good. Mm. So we are now feeling suitably refreshed after our lunch as thought Oscar wasn't hungry after having his breakfast not too long ago. But no, green eggs and ham. It's good. Although Pete did ask me, did I prefer green eggs and ham over Woody's lunchbox because it was kind of similar flavours? No, I still think I preferred the chochos at Woody's lunchbox for sure. I would say I prefer the tater tots at Woody's lunchbox. Well, tater tots at Disney in general are better than the universal because they're smaller so they're crispier. But I prefer the, the buffalo chicken. Fair enough. We're now heading through into Hogsmeade. The plan is to ride Hagrid's. Hogsmeade! Our first glimpse really properly at Harry Potter areas on this trip. We could see it from a distance but we haven't ventured anywhere yet. Oh, Hogwarts Express. Oh, look at this. Oh, I just love it. All the little snow top roofs. It's magical. Hagrid's was so good, wasn't it? Yep, first ride of the day. It was a good one. Oscar wants to sit on the motorbike next time. Now I thought children, or the smaller rider, had to sit in the sidecar, but Pete just asked a cast member who said they could sit on the motorbike. So hopefully we'll get the opportunity to ride it again. So now we're gonna head round, have a look at the other Harry Potter rides, see what we can jump on. But Hagrid's was incredible. Although when um, the flower tribute is not there anymore, but that's very sad, isn't it? But what an excellent ride. Great start to the day. Look at Hogwarts. I've noticed it this time instead of getting carried away looking at a snowman. <laughs> no snowman to distract me this time. Oscar's trying some spells in Hogsmeade. Oscar's going to try the Alahamora spell to open the book. So you want to do Aloha Mora on that size and that way. Yay! Well done! We had a couple of successful spells, didn't we, Oscar? Yep. And now it's time to ride Forbidden Passage, Forbidden Journey. Why do we still not know the name of this one? It's called... <laughs> Forbidden Journey. Forbidden Journey. It's always Forbidden Journey. Forbidden Journey. Where did the passage even come from? I don't know. We're just making stuff up. Good. Then maybe they'll be. If not, we'll just be like a problem. We're heading out of Hogsmeade to go and ride Velocicoaster. Had to get the butterbeer. Pick the frozen butterbeer. And it is needed today. It's so hot. But very nice. 50, I think it was, but it's very nice. We've just perched up for a minute in the shade. Well, the sun's moving around now. It was a shady spot. Still nice and cool though. Pete's picked up one of the Halloween drinks. This one is called Orange Howl. I'm gonna give it a taste test. Ooh. He was struggling to place the flavors. I think it tastes like orange Fanta, but with some added sherbet, because it's quiet. Ooh. 
See that? As, as strange as it may sound, when I was trying the zombie fizz one earlier, it kind of tasted like like a great phantom, but almost like with extra sparkling water added, which might just sound like it's a diluted version, but it's not. And I, I think that's the same. Like it, it almost feels like there's some kind of extra sparkling water in there. My butter beer is practically gone. I'm sad. It tasted so good. Pete and I were saying that we're definitely going to enjoy Velocicoaster much more this time round now that we know that Oscar is happy and fine on it because although obviously he wanted to ride yesterday, he was nervous and I was sat in front, Pete was sat next to him and kept checking on him and I kept trying to turn around just to make sure that he wasn't having an awful time. Now that we know he loves it, we can all enjoy it together. And whilst it is a lot of fun, like riding in the dark, it's really nice to kind of ride it during the day as well so we can see all like those fabulous views. Ah, I'm excited! Do 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 so Oscar, you conquered Velocicoaster again. It's what are good. your thoughts? It's way better in daytime, especially at like the, the second back count now. Yeah, we were literally on the back two rows, which felt like it made it much, much faster. <laughs> but it is, it is so intense. Like the, the loops, the inversions, how close you are to the water. There are just a lot more details we noticed on this time. As in the fact that obviously you're hunting with the raptors, or rather they're hunting you. And because it's so fast you can't always notice it, but you see them like in the bush beneath you, like by your feet and things. Oh, it is so good. Really one of my favourites. And we're just walking round. We think we can go on the river adventure. It certainly is hot enough. We can do with a cooling down, I reckon. And we loved this one last time. But no, it's just... It's just great to be here I think like we've still got so much exploring of these parks to do because obviously it was our first time in February it's only our second time coming now and there's just so much to do not enough time as is always the case Oscar's just got out of the bath. Very Turn around, let's see you, but. <laughs> oh my god. See, you don't look too well, bad. My, my sleeves are completely drenched. All hair's wet. Look at that, but. <laughs> the shorts are little on the front. Although I got more wet this time than I did this morning. And it was hotter this morning as well. My hair is just. Completely so I left my headphones on, I forgot that it was on, so that's drenched as well. Um, it doesn't look that wet, but my skirt, it's like the bottom half of it, is absolutely soaked. And like my arm and back. And this was from the middle, I was right in the middle of the row next to like another family. And it literally just hit me all in the face. Yeah, I did not expect that. We definitely didn't get that wet last time, did we? Although the kid that was sat next to Oscar was just as wet as Oscar, he was completely soaked too. Yeah. Oscar likes having a little mohawk in his hair, don't you? Have to spike it up for him. But no, um, just very wet. So next up we are going to head to Kong and uh, hopefully the sun dries us off a little bit on the route. <laughs> we enjoyed Kong, didn't we? Yep. But you don't believe that the end is an animatronic. It's a screen. Why don't you 
believe it's an animatronic. It's like so big, it's the shortest screen. It's not. It's, it's definitely an animatronic. It's very big and it's very well done. Um, but definitely an animatronic, not a screen. That's actually quite a fun ride. One of like the better ones like that if you compare it to say Fast and the Furious. Well, the, the sort of action in the middle is like, the, you just don't know where to look because there's something Yeah, there's on so much side. going on. So it doesn't matter which side you sat on, you get a good show of something. Yeah. We're now heading over to the Marvel area of the park, which I'm not sure if Pete mentioned it this morning, but we didn't really explore too much of on our last trip. There were like big sections of the park that we didn't do, including Toon Lagoon that we're just walking through. Those are water rides, and when we came in February, it was very nice, but not really nice enough to get soaked. So as a result, there's still a lot that we haven't done. I know Pete rode Spider-Man this morning, but it's gonna be a first for Oscar and I, and um, yeah, we're looking forward to Spider-Man. On the way, as we've just headed into Toon Lagoon, there was uh, an icy stand that was empty. Yeah, there's no one there. I thought it was actually closed. So Pete just said it's best to kind of fill up when you can because there's usually a big queue. Yeah, What's this one that you've got? Blue right here. Blue. Blue right here. Oh, I like that one. It tastes like a panda pub. Not blue yet. This whole section of the park just looks really fun. It's really like really over the top, really highly themed, but a lot of it looks closed. Yeah, big parts of it look closed. So it's quite fun walking through, it just feels like you're almost a caricature. and made me feel so ill. But that was actually fine, and it was like, it was- I could say it's like Transformers, mixed with Men in Black. Yeah. I think that's fair. And the spin though, there was like a guy next to me, and I was like, <laughs> trying not to like, bash him. I hit my head on the side. On the first big spin, I went, whoop. Well. <laughs> Can't take us anywhere, clearly. But no, that was fun, I enjoyed that. Should we go do uh, Storm first now? No, you two can. Trilly boots. Thank you, Trilly boots. Okay, the boys are gonna go on the Storm Force Accelatron. I am certainly not brave enough for that. of adventure but everyone's heading over from Universal Studios because it is party night. So it's getting pretty busy over here. City Walk looks so nice. 
Look at that in the sun, and then you got the universal ball at the far end. Oh, what a gorgeous day. So this is where we part ways. Where are you off to? Halloween Horror Nights. Are you excited? I am actually. Are you scared? No, no. Although, like I say, I think, because obviously I don't do the vlogging, and this morning I was kind of, I did, because I was the only one here. I was saying to Annie, I think I, that's kind of helped me, I think, before I get into Halloween Horror Nights and do it all on my own anyway. Because um, I, I usually feel a bit self-conscious about talking in public, especially to myself. But that's fine. You're it's not fine. talking to yourself, you're talking to these fine people. Yeah, I'm talking, I'm talking to myself. <laughs> talking to you're future talking people. You're talking to your future self when you edit. Exactly. Uh, so yeah, I feel a bit more confident, I guess, in filming tonight. Whether I'll do a good job of it, I don't know. But, I mean, it's not going to be like an informative vlog because by the time you're watching it's Halloween will be been and gone, it's probably closer to Christmas. So we will be posting Pete's Halloween Horror Night video as a separate video, so stay tuned for that. And if you do get scared easily, then obviously... Who knows? I'll put a caption beforehand if it's going to be scary, but I think it'll be fine. So... We'll say goodbye to Pete. We are heading into dinner at the Hard Rock Cafe. Why, why are you like hard on the A? Hard Rock. Oh, they fixed the H. So we're going to have our dinner and then you didn't want to go back into the park, did you? No, I didn't want to go back in. Yeah, let's get you an early night then tonight, shall we? Oh. Even yeah. though I did have a lot of sleep. I think we need an early night. So day tomorrow. <laughs> we're going to go have our dinner. Hopefully it's good. We've tried quite a few of the restaurants now on City Walk in our February vlog series. And if you followed along, we weren't that impressed with some of them. So we're gonna try some others and then see which one our favorite is. But so far, Bubble Gump is still the top winner. Tip. Bubble Gump is top tier. We've Pete's, not had a bad meal in that. Pete's gonna have some Halloween snacks, aren't you? I am, I am. I've already told them. I told oh, okay. them this morning what oh. I'm looking forward to. Right. So we'll see you later. Bye. Bye. You're not going. Oh yeah, I forgot. No. Love you Oscar wanted to go for a chocolate milkshake for his drink. I have not drink. Is it nice? Is it ice creamy? Yeah. Yeah. It's a bit like the um, jam milkshake at a. Uh, what was it called again? Um, Prime Time Cafe, I think. Yeah. yeah. I went for a cosmopolitan. We waited quite a while for the chocolate milkshake. But you're happy now, aren't you? The wait was worth Good. What do you have for your main, Oscar? Homemade mac and cheese. Well, it's not really hungry, but it's not nice. With fries? Yep. And some mayo? Garlic fries. Yes. And then we went for some garlic bread for Oscar to go with his mac and cheese. And then I went for the twisted chicken mac and cheese, which also comes with garlic bread. It looks delicious. Oscar taste test. So good. Good. It's I'm like happy. I don't know how to describe the garlic. It's really hot. Good. Okay, let's do a taste test of the chicken mac and cheese. I do love a grilled like chicken breast. I'm just gonna try the pasta on the first. That's nice. You can taste the red pepper through it. It's nice. And now with the chicken. It does have a kick to it, which is really yummy. Yeah, really like that. That's uh, very nice. So the bill has just arrived. It was 57.45 because we just went for drinks and main meals. And then the tip suggestion is down here at the bottom. So yeah, that's not bad really for what we had. It was very nice. So we've just finished in the Hard Rock. What did we think? It's really good. The garlic bread, they were like as long as they get. Yes. It was just so good. It was good. Um, don't tell Pete. <laughs> Sorry, future Pete. We forgot to uh, 
give their annual pass for our discount, which you can do in um, Hard Rock. We're still getting used to being annual pass members as soon as it's been a day. So I'm forgetting to ask for it. We forgot it as well in um, Bubble Gumps, which you can also use it there, which we didn't appreciate. So it's not really paying for itself when we keep forgetting to use it. So, whoops, sorry Pete. <laughs> but we're just gonna head back to the room now and we're gonna have just a chill night, aren't we? Yeah. Do our own thing, you can have a cup of tea. <laughs> he I'll knows me so well. <laughs> yes, I think we need a chilled night. I know Pete's not having a chill night and he's probably gonna be knackered tomorrow, but he's gonna have a fun one and it should be worth it. I wanna go to Halloween Horror Nights with him. Yeah, when you're a bit older kid. So I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. If you have, please give us a big thumbs up. <laughs> and a subscribe is always appreciated. And join us again for our next vlog where we are going to... Volcano Bay. Volcano Bay. One of our favorite days from our February trip. So we're very excited to head back. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you again soon. Bye. Bye.